welcome to Durian Noodles 101. Um, I feel a little silly because it's kind of like a really simple recipe, but there's certain little nuances you can do to make your noodles even better. So I hope I can teach you what I what I enjoy. But of course, it might be different for everyone. Um, so first step, I always just make the noodles. So I have the noodles made already. And if you don't know how to make noodles. Um, this peel is really nice. I think we only have one of them, which is unfortunate, but if you get your hands on this one, it's really good. And when you're making noodles, you just, you know, you're just sliding. And you keep turning. You keep your fingers tucked back because it can really cut you. The name of this? No, Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I prefer this. Oh, really? Um, the spiral, oh, it depends on which spiralizer. The one that's like long and you spin it. That one usually comes out a bit too thick for me. I like them a, a bit thinner. Yeah. Um, yeah, so anyway, that's. So we got the noodles done. And I usually don't put the outside of the cucumber in, the peel. Especially because these probably aren't organic and, and um, what? I don't think they're organic, these cucumbers. And it's just a bit too crunchy when you're eating. It's, the texture is much different when you have it. Um, yeah, and then the next step is find a really good durian. Like, I find that if you can get the best durian, it's going to make it amazing. Some people say like, oh man, you are you don't want to put the best durian in because you're going to wait. You're not not enjoying it on its own, but there's so much abundance here that it's like, screw it. Last night I found this like perfectly numb, just like amazing, freshly dropped durian and I put it in and it was, it was mind blowing. Would you go for like a more savory variety of durian? It depends, you know, I've been making it with Kung Po Ang Bak a lot, which is a red flesh, which is mm. a bit more wet and bitter, Yeah. Um, which is really nice. And then I've been using Koro Loro, which is really sweet and peanut buttery, so it's oh, nice. like a peanut sauce. Um, then I've used like the white flesh, which is just more neutral and just creamy. Yeah. Um, they're all good. And I think you know I recommend trying all the different ones. Um, but what I find for myself is I really like putting a lot of durian. So I think that like some people, you know, I've seen them make the durian noodles and they don't put enough durian. I think, and then it gets really watery with the cucumber. And so you really want to use a lot. Um, so I just. Um, this is one whole big horror. Um, so I take the pods out. This is just, you know, and then I just scrape it off with the fork. Um, it comes off really easy. What variety did you say this was? This is a horror. Horror. Yeah. Got the seed and suck the seed or whatever you want. Yeah, and then the lemons. We got a bunch of these here. I think there's more. I hope there is. Cause it just the lemons just make it awesome. When I first got introduced, this is from Lindsay. It was just she always just does durian and cucumbers. It was just like wow, like it just enhanced the flavor so much. Even though it's probably not the best food combining, but it, uh, I just love it so much. Um, so I like using a strainer. It is actually good to put acid fruits with fatty fruits. Acid helps break the fat down. Yeah, I'm it sure it's good. not. Yeah. It's not much, so I'm sure it's no problem at all. I haven't had problems digesting this, um, especially if you eat mindfully. Do you put that too? You know, I put like eight in here actually. Oh, okay. That was just like the <laughs> little demo. Yeah, these I find are a bit more, a little sweeter and not as sour, so. It's nice to eat. Yeah, and then um. If you're really naughty, I like to put uh, chili. So there's a bunch of chili plants down, not a lot, but like you can find them down in the hills. We'll have a bunch of chilies here as well. Um, but yeah, I just kind of like loosely chop them in. But it gets a bit, I think it might be better. We have blenders here. If you really want to get fancy, you can like blend the durian with the lemon juice with the chili and then the chili will go a longer way. If not, like all these chunks are gonna pretty much go to the, almost like the bottom of the bowl and at the end you're gonna get this huge bite of like heat. But for 
me, I like it. Yeah, so then just mix it all around. I like doing it separately, like the durian and the lemon and all that separately, because if you just put it in here, it's just kind of not as easy to mix. But once you get it all processed. Yeah, and then it's just... Have you tried it with zucchini as well, or just cucumber? I haven't tried it with zucchini, but I'm sure it would be amazing. And then we have like mint and ginger, and you know, I'm sure there's like limitless ways to play with this um, but I think for me the key is just putting a lot of durian I've tasted people that don't put much and it's just like oh. have you ever thrown in some green powder or mousse? I have yeah yeah nice that's as simple <laughs> as simple as it gets you know do a little taste test yeah and you guys are welcome to the yeah, I'm going to get my bowl. Okay. Check out Robbie's Alfredo. How creamy is that?